I'm a whole student when I'm in front of somebody I can learn from. Don't play with me. We finished. That's the kind of tea we want to hear, okay? We don't limit ourselves to anything. Good morning, good mo- oh, What's going on with these pajamas? Happy Saturday. And if you are tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anastasia. So happy to have you. Hit that subscribe button, join the family. If you are a returning subscriber, if you are a part of the family, hey girl, hey, y'all know we're getting our stuff together over here. It is Saturday, April 27th, y'all. It's 9.46 a.m. And I am struggling with these allergies. I don't know what type of pollen we're dealing with this year, but it's trying to take me out. When I got back from my trip last week, y'all, Monday, I ended that vlog Monday, and I was good. I went to the gym, went to the grocery store. Y'all, that night, last Monday that night, my throat got to burning and hurting so bad. And I took some Claritin, and it kind of made me feel better. I also took some other uh, type of medicine for congestion and um, mucus and stuff like that. Anyways, happy Saturday, y'all. I felt a little bit better. I just made me some breakfast. I made some turkey sausage and eggs. Today I am hosting a meeting at my house with my team. So I'm gonna set up a little spread, you know, a little charcuterie board. We got a big meeting today because y'all know I started doing a retreat last year for my organization. So we're gonna do that every year and we are gonna get that planned out today. Anyways, let me finish eating my breakfast. I'm gonna make my to-do list and then I'm gonna hop on here because I don't want my food to get cold, but I need to start the vlog. So I'm gonna hop back on here and I will chat with y'all in a moment. Sleepy Kobe. Are you sleepy? Why are you so tired, buddy? Huh? You had a long day? Hmm? Whew. Okay, guys. So I finished my breakfast. And now before I really get my day started, I just wanted to spend some time with God. I've been doing this thing where, um, and this is just like some changes I'm making in my life to be better. I would watch so I would watch like sermons in the morning and I still do sometimes, but I've really been more tuned into like reading my Bible. So every day, Monday through Friday, y'all know I go to the gym. Well, once I get home, I shower and I try to have everything done by 7.30 so I can read my Bible and spend time with God. I feel like reading your Bible, it's like you're building your own personal relationship with God. Like It's just me and God. It's not someone, you know, God's not talking through no one. So God's not talking through that person to talk to me. He's literally talking directly to me. That's how I feel when I'm reading my Bible. It gets me in the right mindset for the day. And a lot of times it's like things that's on my mind or on my heart, I'll get to read in the Bible and I'm just like, oh, okay. Because, you know, like I said in my last vlog, the journeys, when we're learning and growing on our journeys, it has to be a lot of self-reflecting. It's easy to point out what the next person's doing, who's hurt you, all these things. But the main thing and the main goal should be for God to shift our hearts, fix our heart postures. I have been learning so much about myself and he's just changing my demeanor and my posture so much for me reading my Bible, y'all. And so I wanted to share with y'all the things I was reading because it's like these three things that I'm reading right now and tuned into... Like, I'm just learning so much about myself. Like, it really just makes me feel so good. Like, you know, to be getting this these lessons and, these, and the confirmation and things I've been praying for from God. So I was like, I want to share these with them in case anybody else like would like to read them. Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. So my husband bought me this when I got baptized back in February when I tell y'all, I absolutely love, love, love this. It's got it broken down by each day. And there's a message from Jesus speaking to you. And when I tell y'all these messages be hitting, like they be hitting. 
also have scriptures that you can reference and go read that applies to the message. Come to me with empty hands and open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. I know the depth and the breadth of your neediness. Your life path has been difficult, draining your strength. Come to me for nurture. Let me fill you up with my presence. I in you and you in me. My power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. Faltering steps of dependence are not lack of faith. They are links to my presence. I feel like it's like, you know how your dad as a little girl just be like, it's okay. Or if you go through a breakup or just things where your father steps in, like, I feel like that's the, that's the posture I'm in when I'm spending time with God. Like I really be feeling like, like just so just vulnerable and just safe and just, this is God, you know, this isn't a human, this is God. And reading these like every day, um, it just makes me feel so good. And I be so mad when I miss it. When I miss my um, day, I try to go back and read it. It's just so good. And it's like he's talking directly to you. I'm reading this book. This is the book that we're reading in Bible study. So we read it as a group and we discuss it weekly. She prints us off notes. Let me make sure y'all don't see my handwriting because I be writing notes on her notes. <laughs> I'm a whole student when I'm in front of somebody I can learn from. Don't play with me. Okay, I'll do this page because my handwriting is horrible. And I'm left-handed. But it don't give it no excuse. She just breaks down the notes and stuff like that that we can study as well based off the chapters we read. And these notes were for chapter 8 and 9. Jennifer Hand is the author of this book. And it says, my yes is on the table, moving from fear to faith. And she's basically talking about like things that she's experienced in life. Um where not feeling worthy or feeling like you can't do something has held you back, forgetting that God will bring you through it. She just talks about that. And she's like, my yes is on the table, not half heartedly, not half the time, not halfway there. Jen wants you to go all in with God because God is all in for you. So in each chapter, she's breaking down moments where she forgets how God has her covered, no matter where she goes, no matter what she does. She's a missionary. She travels out of the country to all these different countries. And so she has a lot of different experiences with that. Could you imagine? And it'd just be a constant reminder for me to like, just surrender my will to God. Like surrender it. My mind, my self doubt, my, you know, questioning, like just surrender it to God. And this is something I have to tell myself all the time. And so in the class, y'all, she asked the question in our notes, and this just helped me realize something about myself. And that's why I love, love, love being around people I can learn from. This question she asked, it said, I want to say yes to God, but I am afraid of failing God. And I was just like, oh my God, that is like, literally, I felt like she just read my mind because that is something I literally feel like I struggle with. And I'll give you an example. Like I'll do things like I, I, I do things with my organization and stuff. But there is this one thing that I've been saying I'm going to launch and embark on. And I know God has called me to do this because I do it all day, pretty much every day before he started to isolate me. But I'm good doing it. I'm, I'm going to say comfortable because comfortable is a term that we forget. It's comfortable is a term that we really don't realize be having us in a chokehold. That, that comfort is like one of the most distracting things to me. Because we get so comfortable with things that anything outside of our comfort zone is off. We don't want to pursue it. We don't want to embark on it because we are scared of the one unknown and two being uncomfortable. But it's like, I'm good doing it without the title. But when I put the title on it, it's like, whew, now I feel like I got to hold a different standard for God. And it, it scares me. So I shared that in the class and like other women just started opening up about feeling that way and giving me advice. And in the Bible class, y'all, I love my Bible study class because there's a good balance between like ages, age difference. They're just, I don't know. I just love being around women like that, hearing their stories, hearing their testimonies. And so they just started giving me feedback on that and how they overcame stuff like that. I wrote it down too. I said, the expectations make me nervous. I fear I won't meet God's requirements. And I kind of got choked up when I said it the first time, but I've been kind of just keep saying it to myself and like talking about it to God because <clears throat> it's something I want him to strengthen me and help me grow in and just get over that, that, that mindset of like, cause God is like, I know you, I created you. 
I designed you. So I already know where you lack. That's why I'm here, baby. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to give you what you lack. I'm going to give you more than what you need. I'm going to give you a clear mind. I'm going to give you the plan. Y'all know I love to use the term blueprint. He gives us our blueprint. We just got to trust him. This book, y'all, is so good. And at the end of each chapter, she has a um, my yes prayer. And it's like, to God, today, God, I am building an altar of renewal in my heart. I praise you that you are, you are, I am, that the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joshua is my God. Lord, I worship you from this altar of renewal. Like this chapter was about renewal, like being in a space of renewal. Like once you surrender and give God your yes, you go, you go through a season of renewal where he has to rebuild you, rebuild your mindset, rebuild your environment, rebuild your language, your posture. Like he has to rebuild you and it's a renewal stage. At the bottom, it has heart work uh, scriptures. So in the areas, you know, you fall short, like trusting, believing, surrendering, anything like that, whatever she talks about, or like in this case, it'd be like renewal, you know, the season of renewal. It has scriptures to go read. And it says, what is God speaking to your heart as you read? What is one fear what is one fear stop currently on your heart? What faith step will you pray about taking? And in my Bible, y'all, I've been reading Proverbs and your girl got highlighters. I've been taking notes. Ah, I just know God is so proud of me. I wanted to share this with y'all. I read this yesterday. And it says the answer to inappropriate anger. Memorize and meditate on these scriptures, y'all. It breaks down. Each sections that we struggle with for anger within anger. Sorry, I'm trying to talk fast and I'm getting tongue tied. But for instance, it says, don't give full vent to your anger. Proverbs 29, 11. Don't take revenge on a violator. Now y'all know, I told y'all, I used to be the reciprocating queen. You, you got that energy, baby. I got it times 10. Let's go. But Romans 12, 19 will help me work on that. Like don't take revenge. Like take what, do what God is telling me to do. Don't get caught up in name calling, Matthew 5.22. Don't expect, I'm going to just hold it up. That way, if y'all want to screenshot this, because when I tell y'all, I I just was like, this is golden. What? Like, are you kidding me? This is like the key to really elevating in God's eyes. When you're struggling in these areas, read these scriptures. Let's put the camera on the charger, y'all, and read my Bible. I will hop back on here in a minute. Okay, guys, so it is a while later. We are now at 100% on battery. I am still struggling with my allergies, so I just took another, <clears throat> I just took another Claritin. Hopefully it kicks in, because once I take the Claritin, it does kick in, it does help, it just doesn't help long. I have a meeting today with my team. So we're gonna meet to discuss and plan out our retreat for 2024. You've seen the retreat vlog last year that was our first time doing a retreat y'all this is something that has been on my goals for years organization she's unapologetic we are a community of women who i just love and adore <laughs> and we work really hard with just learning and growing um being a light to each other encouraging each other we have events where we empower one another and have fun experiences positive girl vibes we share different things, you know, because I feel like as women, we all really go through similar things in life, but it could be different seasons in which it's so it's so important to surround yourself with women that are on similar journeys and are like-minded as far as their goals and values because I don't care what a person have in their bank. I don't care what they have, who they are, what title, what likes. You can learn from anybody. So that's what we are. We also do things to give back to our community. And we are honestly embarking on some new things this year that I'll be announcing. So it's a beautiful thing. I have a beautiful team. I always make sure to give them their flowers because um, I just appreciate them so much. Um, I don't bring anybody onto my team without God confirming it. I make them aware of that. A lot of times it's very uncomfortable for me when he reveals you know, this person needs to be a part of your team because it's like, what? <laughs> like, he reveals to me who to bring on and what season to bring them on. And eventually, he will let them tell me why he told me to bring them on. So, you know, nowadays it's so easy for people to see others doing things. You know, everything is so out there with uh, social media and stuff. So you just get this assumption or you, you, you get this confirmation that, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. 
but I always tell women that I have mentored to really tap into God and get your blueprint from God. Because as long as you attach yourself to things that you see people being successful in that was never aligned for your life, you will cheat yourself of a real prosperous destiny that God has ordained for you before you even step foot on this earth. So I'm really big on staying true to who you are. Now we're women, we have a lot of similarities, but when God assigned us, he didn't say, oh, I need 50 Anastasias, I need 50 Whitney's, I need 100 Adiras. No, he planted a specific seed for us to get in this, get on this earth and he want us to be the, and he assigned us to carry that seed and plant it into everybody we come in contact with, whatever that thing God planted in you. No matter what you've been through, no matter what you're going through, you were brought here for a reason and you're still here to fulfill that reason. She's unapologetic. Just we're all women, but we're different. And because we're tapping into and walking in who we truly are, we have a safe village and a safe space where we can learn, gain from each other, have fun with each other and, and no drama. <laughs> so all in all, so now that we talked about all that, <laughs> I got this, uh, Premium Bamboo Charcuterie Board. I found this on Amazon. Y'all, I have been eyeballing this thing forever. And I was like, I'm not buying it because she's not in her hosting girl era no more. So why do I need to buy this charcuterie board? Girl, I am back, okay? She took a break and yeah, you know, hosting just, just, it started to become overwhelming and it just became a thing where I was like, I don't feel like it. So yeah, let's open this up. I wait, waited to open it up with you guys because I was like, let's, oh, let me let the camera down. I'll make sure to drop the link below in case anybody wants to purchase it. I got it off of Amazon and I think I'm going to love it. Now if we could just get in this box. Okay, let's not make this complicated. I have this thing where... When I'm trying to open a box, I make it more complicated than what it has to be. So let's just be smart about this. Here we go. See, I would have been cutting all this board, but all I had to do was pull this little. I'm worried about how big it is because I want it to be a good size. And oh, this is adorable. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. And they gave us this little book I guess to do like oh cheese plate I guess this is like a catalog where you can purchase premium meats and stuff yep www.smurly.com and it has like all the different cheese and meats and veggies if you will and we're gonna get ours from Aldi's, okay? Thank y'all. I also sent this card that says, thank you. I hope this lighting is good. Y'all know every time I do this, I'll be thinking the lighting is bad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with it this time. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, they gave me two thank you cards. So we have a board. This is super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put in this. I didn't. Mm. Maybe I could put. Mm. I don't know. I have to figure that one out. That might have to get put up for another time. Once these cuts ooh, out. Oh, this thing is big. This is adorable. So, but you can pull it out right here. I know. It's so cute. You can pull that out right here. I feel like y'all not really seeing it though. You can pull this out and it has like your knives for your cheese. Oh, it's even got a corkscrew. What is this? I don't know about that one. Um, we're going to put that back in. Also pulls out on the side like that, where you can have extra stuff on the sides. Like that. And then on this side too. So for crackers, I'm going to be using these pita crackers that I got from Aldi's. Y'all get these from Aldi's. They are so good. So the way this board is set up, I'm trying to do it like they have it on this picture that I bought it, um, the picture that sold me on the board. And look how good, and look how good that looks. 
So that's what we're going for. I don't know if we'll master it just that because this is a lot. I don't think I have that much stuff, but we'll see. So starting out, they just did the crackers like going across like that. Like that. Oh, it's already cute. <laughs> so they go across like that. mine like this I just put the meat on my hair like a taco like that and I just roll it around like that. and then you can just add meat to it if you want to and I just stick two picks to keep it in place I just stick two picks through it like that just started recording in slow-mo but I said not today next what we're gonna do is I bought these little like muffins about to set those up on these little racks Ooh, careful honey careful and then we're going to set this up which is really easy I also purchased this on Amazon Flash it. Ooh. Let me get it together, honey. So we set this up right here. And they have like their little muffins. Oh, I miss this, y'all. I love hosting things. Like y'all don't understand. It's all about the experience. Okay. I'm gonna just get that over some. Yep, like this. And then these little glass things go. I hope this don't fall because I love this set. Like that. Oh. So, let me grab a little muffins. I found these muffins at Aldi's as well. And they're not that big. <laughs> Y'all, they're not big at all, but you know, we still gonna make it happen. They're um, Bake Shop Lemon Poppy Seeds. And I, I've never had them, but I have a feeling these are gonna be really good, okay? But let's see, how many is it? Oh, that's perfect, it's four per rack, so it won't look too bad. I was hoping it, I didn't want it to look like I didn't really have nothing on here. Like stacked, ooh, can y'all see me? I have this like stacked cube. And I wanna put the drinks, so maybe we'll put this like right here just to be safe. And we'll have the drinks like here. Yo, yeah, that's cute. Don't mind my house coat, cause I was cold. But yeah, it'll look like that. So yeah, that's cute. As for the drinks, I'm gonna do non-alcoholic drinks. Just gonna make some cute little 
refreshing drinks. And what I'm doing right now is I um, have strawberries in the bottom of it. Sorry if this clinging noise is loud, y'all. My apologies. So I just finished getting ready. Y'all, this hair is a mess. <laughs> I probably should have tried to curl it, but I was like, whatever. Oh, I really could just put my clip back up. I might just do that, just clip it back up. But yeah, I just threw on this black, like one piece. I just have this on. I just threw on this white top over it. Hair is okay. Um, again, I would only advise to get this hair if it's for short term this is not long term hair okay for the most part it does okay um it doesn't really hold curls much but i did not curl it today i curled it yesterday um and it was cute you know i did curl it yesterday but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and pour these drinks before they get here oh, i forgot i actually had these drinks in the fridge y'all so i really don't even have to put ice on them i didn't think about that the stem ain't supposed to be right there but we pressed for time but this is how the drinks are going to look. It's just going to have like the strawberries in it. And then it's going to have the mint leaves sticking out at the top next to the lime. This tastes pretty good, y'all. Because I'm sitting here thinking like, just because me and my husband like it, don't mean they're going to like it. <laughs> like, I might not have thought that one all the way out. But I'm going to make something up. I'm going to have to hide this Sprite. And I'm going to make something up. You know how sometimes with women, you got to use reverse psychology. I'm going to be like, y'all haven't seen this drink? All you got to say is... Y'all haven't seen this drink trending on TikTok? Where have y'all been? I'm gonna be like, y'all haven't seen this? Let me try here before they get here. I'm gonna be busted. I know, this one spilled over. Like, oh my God, somebody must be here. I'm gonna be like, y'all haven't tried this? I'm gonna have to get my voice ready. Y'all have never heard of this? Y'all have never tried this? Are you kidding me? They come down to you. So comfortable. Mm -mm, they have oh. to. Yeah. If you want, you can set that on my dresser if you want to. Or. Let's So you like the drink? Yeah. You do like the drink? Okay, good. I didn't put no alcohol in it. That'd mm -hmm. be perfect if yeah. it was. Like, what is you know, it? Mimosa. Huh? What is it? First try first, then I'll tell you. I taste it's like pink a lemonade. sparkling, sparkling drink. I taste pink lemonade. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Because if y'all didn't like it, I was going to make something up. But it's really just pink lemonade and then Sprite. But I had told my vlog, as soon as y'all was like, ooh, I don't like this. I was going to be like, y'all haven't seen this trending on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> I love these glasses. Are those prescription? I know. This is what I was saying. I missed the link for those. I'm going to have to go get some prescription glasses. I know. I thought I was going to get them. Oh, I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription glasses. I'm going to have to get some prescription yeah, yeah. That boy got a bird. <laughs> you got to take the body, Cody. <laughs> how you play with dad versus how you play with mom? <laughs> That's a
all kind of texts and stuff. I have been up and moving. Let me grab some lip gloss. I have to go to Sephora today or Ulta to restock on my lip gloss because I am almost like out of all 30 lip glosses that I have and it's just not okay. It's not okay. Bless you. I'm up and at it. Allergies are attacking me this morning still. I am about to prep Sunday dinner, y'all. Normally I cook dinner when I get out of church, but I've been just trying all types of different new things with my schedule, trying to see the areas where it gives me more time with things within the day. I don't like how Sunday sometimes when I cook dinner, it takes like a big portion, big portion of my day up. I just want to have more time to chill and relax. So today, the dinner I'm cooking for uh, today is not extremely hard. It's not very time consuming. And I honestly want to run out and go to Sephora when I get out of church and stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and cook it before church. You know, like back in the day. When we got out of church, honey, Sunday dinner was ready. It was already cooked. All we had to do was get home and eat. I'm going to make some um, stuffed chicken. I'm going to, um, I don't even know what it's called. I just, I guess it's called stuffed chicken. Or I'll do cream cheese and spinach in the center of it. And I'm just going to do some whipped mashed potatoes. Nothing more, nothing less. So oh, for the potatoes, I'm gonna use the red potatoes. So I just finished cleaning these and I'm about to just put them in water and boil them. We have to talk about yesterday, y'all. The meeting went so good. We got so much accomplished and y'all know we have to include some girl talk. So we had some good girl talk, some good kikis. They loved the charcuterie board. They absolutely loved it. They loved the drink too, guys. I love to move this so y'all can see me. I want y'all to see me. I want to talk. <laughs> yeah, they loved the charcuterie board. The, the charcuterie board. They loved the um. They love the drinks too. We get off track every now and then talking about you know things, life, giving each other advice on things, stuff like that. But then we get back on track. So we probably was here for about, let's see, it started at 4.30, I think we ended at, at 8.30, so and we probably was here till about 8.30, yeah, about 8.30. It was good. We got everything done that we needed to get done. I'm excited. So we will announce it tomorrow to, um, to the members of the organization. They have been waiting on this, y'all. They have been messaging me. Some people text me like, when is the retreat? And I did give the dates of the attendees for the um, Rise, Thrive, and Elevate event. Like, I did give them the dates just to show appreciation for them showing up. And just, we had such a good time and stuff. I feel like you can't get excited about things like that until it's actually confirmed. When things are confirmed and everything is locked in, that's when you can get excited. So, y'all, as far as seasonings, I really need to go and restock up on my seasonings. Because when I tell y'all we are almost out of everything... At this point, it's really tragic because who eats food without seasoning? Not me. So, I guess I'll use a little all-purpose. Uh, I'm out of onion powder. I guess we're gonna have to make it do what it do. I need to do inventory on this next time I go to the store and write down the things. I'm out of regular garlic, child. We are out of everything. That's tragic. Okay, so we got our bowl. This is gonna be for my spinach and cream cheese. So, first things first, I hate that I'm out of gloves because I love wearing gloves when I got to touch meat and stuff, especially when I got these nails because I just feel like when I wash my hands, like when I wash my hands, I just been not getting all the germs. So, I'm out of gloves, guys. I'm going to buy those in bulk. But I'm definitely going to hit this again with this on purpose. Dang, I just thought about something, y'all. I forgot to glaze it with egg. I normally glaze the chicken with egg. But I did not do that. Oh, well. Can't win them all. So that's my stuffing.
So I am dressed and I'm about to head out. I wanted to give you all a quick OOTD. The top is from Zara and it's just like this sweater top. And then I'm wearing these pants that are also from Zara. And they have like the beige, like ribbon going around the waist, so cute. And I just have on some beige heels as well. And then I'm wearing my Bottega Duke from TJ Maxx. And then I kind of pulled my hair back because I just wasn't in the mood to deal with it in my face today. So I just kind of clipped it back. And I just, I keep pulling this front part. Yeah guys, this is the look. And we are about to head out to go get our praise on. I will see you guys once we get out of church. Woo, so we just got out of church, guys. It was very, very good. My voice, however, is in and out. I am headed to Sephora to grab some items. It is very cloudy outside. It honestly looks like it's about to storm. So I'm gonna try to make this very quick. I'm thinking about, <clears throat> I'm thinking about stopping by Jim and Nick's and grabbing some of their cheddar biscuits. If y'all know, y'all know, they got some really good cheddar biscuits. Put with our meal, AJ was like, he's down. Right, AJ? Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was on me. <laughs> yes. You down for the uh, Cheddar Worlds cheddar yeah, biscuits? I think that would be great. That's what the movies are, guys. The sermon was absolutely amazing, y'all. Oh, God, the sermon was so good. I cannot wait to share it with y'all. It was so powerful. That's probably why the rest of my voice was gone because Lord knows I was in there shouting. And it was crazy because it was something that I prayed about. I literally prayed a very, very, oh my God. I was very clear in my prayer to God about getting clarification on something. And the way that sermon was delivered, it was just like God literally just telling me flat out, like, here's your answer to that prayer. This is how you need to move. So I was just over the moon, like literally. But I can't have my notes right now. Oops, I need to put my seatbelt on too. But I can't <clears throat> pull up my notes right now because I'm driving, but I will share my notes in the sermon when I get home, guys, because y'all know we live for a good sermon. We live for a lesson. Anything that's gonna bring us closer to God, we here for it, baby. We all ears. That's the kind of tea we want to hear, okay? Let's see, we're gonna get up. I'm gonna try the Anastasia. Sometimes I just love this name, this brand. I used to use the brow dip. I don't know if I should do ash brown or dark brown. The ebony. Try that one and thank you. Oh, I see it right here. I think I'm gonna do like a light pink. Here's the food, guys. <clears throat> About to dig in and eat. <clears throat> My throat is really starting to hurt. Went to Gemini's, got cheddar biscuits, came home, ate dinner, and I'm tired, as y'all can see. But I also took me a shower. I'm not gonna do the bow bath tonight. Honestly, once I finish this vlog, I'm gonna take some medicine and I'm gonna go lay down. But I want to show you guys what I got at Sephora. I didn't get a lot. So when the Sephora sale was going on, I told myself I'm not gonna go because I did not need anything. And you know, when there's a Sephora sale, you kind of make yourself need things just to buy stuff. And I was like, I'm not doing that this time. I only got two items. I got some lip gloss. I did the Anastasia lip gloss and I got it in the color Coral. And I also got an eyebrow pencil so let's open these both of them are Anastasia I really wanted to get some more lip glass in like a pink color but you know Sephora don't carry MAC so I didn't feel like going to Ulta or Dillard's to get it so I was like whatever but oh, this does got glitter in it dang it I was hoping to find one that did not have glitter y'all let's talk about this big freaking zit in the middle of my forehead I'm about to go doctor on that before I go to bed for sure that thing is out of here tonight ew I don't think I like this They don't even really give gloss. Ugh, why did I buy this? Ew, and it's really, really like peachy. Ugh. Oh, that's not too bad. It just goes on like really colorful, I feel like. Ugh. But it's not bad. Yes, it'll do. 
Now, I've never, I don't think I've ever bought the Anastasia Brow Pencil, though. So I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and it's in the color Dark Brown. Because I feel like the last two times I bought uh, my eyeliner, I mean, brow pencils, I think I've gotten them a little too dark. I don't like for my eyebrows to be super dark. It just, it looks, I don't like it. So we'll see how this go. Hopefully it's not too dark. But yeah, that's all I got. And then when I was trying to get the Smash Box that I told y'all, the, the uh, moisturizing tint, but they don't carry it. I didn't know. I didn't realize Sephora, Sephora didn't carry it. So honestly, I should have just went to Ulta because of the things I wanted. Because I also wanted to get some more of that lip. I mean, that Elf lip gloss. <sighs> but I just didn't have the energy. I just, I just didn't have it in me. Next thing I want to talk about is the sermon, guys. It says, don't leave without lifting me. So it was saying like, he gave it like the breakdown of like, when you go somewhere, don't go with the intentions of what you're going to get. Or, you know, if you're around somebody, don't be around them just for what you can get. God put us on this earth to give. And he put it, he said, arrive, make sure others are better than leave. So it don't have to be, you know, financially. It could be uplifting their spirit. You know, giving them words of encouragement, sharing your testimony so that, you know, if they're in a storm that you have been in before, you can give them hope that they can overcome it. If they know your story, you know, you've overcome it and you got through it, they can get through it as well. How you present yourself in the temple is usually a, refle is usually a reflection of who you have been around outside the temple. When you have settled for a life of being carried by others, you will come to the house of worship looking for someone to contribute to your disability instead of calling you into your destiny. Now that right there, I was like, yes. Because let me tell you something. I'm one of those people, like I'm that friend. Don't call me if you want a pity party. Don't call me. <laughs> I'm always going to speak life. I'm always going to encourage you to get up, not give you any fuel to that fire to keep you in that space. And sometimes we think we helping people. But in reality, when you don't be real with people and be honest with them and just agree with them, you're not helping them. Most importantly, we're not doing what God has asked us to do because he wants us to help people get better. He wants us to help people see what he's doing in and through us. And if we're not being obedient and sharing those words of wisdom from his word or sharing those words of wisdom from our testimony and from the storms and things we've overcome, what are we doing? He didn't ask us to be clones or cheerleaders just to make people feel good. He wants us to speak life, to help them, to strengthen them. So when I read that part, I was like, oh, that is so good. It says, when you have settled by a life of being carried by others, you will come to the house of worship looking for someone to contribute to your disability instead of calling you into your destiny. I had to read that again, y'all. So it's basically saying like, get people around you that's going to uplift you and motivate you, not make you feel good, not make you feel like you are where you're at, the level you are at, the mindset you have is as far as you can go. L let people or let God align you with people that's going to speak that life into you. That's going to say, girl, no, it don't matter what, what has happened. It don't matter what you've been diagnosed with. It don't matter, you know, that God has a calling on your life. Get up. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. This will be a part of your testimony. Like I'm always going to be that person. And my family and friends know, don't call me if you want me to have a pity party with you. Now, of course, if you're grieving a loss or a loved one or something like that, of course, that's different. But I'm saying sometimes we get comfortable with, you know, well, this, this has happened. So this is just, or, you know, this is what it always has been in my family. So no, be the breach of your family. Be a light to your children. Be a light to your siblings, your community. Like it's up to us to change that cycle, change that chain of this is all I know. This is what I've seen. Well, this is what you know, what you see, but that don't mean you have to be a reflection of that. That don't mean you have to stay there. Be the opposite of what you've seen. And that's what I'm going to be if, if you call me <laughs> for advice. Like, no, baby, we got to get up. We got to fight because if you join, I don't know. It's like if you continue to give that or agree with them in that moment you're helping them stay in that space they're in and when god surrounds you with people that's the difference from people we choose and the people god send 
They're going to help you. Your strength, your confidence, he aligns it for a reason. So when we walk in these spaces of comfort, I feel like comfort is one of the biggest distractions. Literally, I feel like comfort is such a distraction. And anything outside of that comfort box requires you to get uncomfortable, which nobody wants to be uncomfortable. But being uncomfortable is what builds character. Being uncomfortable is what elevates you. Being uncomfortable is what challenges you. So it's either comfort and stay still or uncomfortable, uncomfortable and elevate and grow. And, you know, continue to move up and be who God has called you to be. And then go on and carry all that you've learned and help the next person. This came from um, Acts. This came from Acts chapter one when Peter heals the crippled beggar. No matter how low you are, if you get out that mindset or get out that comforting space and being disabled in your mind, thinking that this is the highest you'll ever be, is crippled on the ground, that he healed him. And that man started to walk with the same people that healed him. And his posture was different. And he, you know, I'm sure he talked different. He gained a different level of confidence. And that's what it's all about. It's just because you've been there, you have to get around the right people. And it'll change you. But you have to be willing to see yourself past your disabilities. Disabilities, not literal, but things that's hindered you, paralyzed you, crippled you. Whatever you went through in life, passed over as far as generational curses, you have to break that. You have to trust your process and surround yourself with people that's going to speak life to help build you up. There are certain people that will only go so far because that's as far as they'll let their minds go. That's as far as they'll let their belief in God go. But when you truly believe in God and you truly trust him and what he has and will do for your life, you don't put no limits on that. As long as it's in his will, we don't limit ourselves to anything. So I'm going to relax. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I hope you all had a happy Sunday. And as always, I thank you all so much for supporting. I've gained more subscribers. So hello to my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. So happy to have you. And if you have anything you want to comment in the comments, anybody, all of you, comment in the comments. Y'all know I love to talk to y'all, chat with y'all in the comments. Um... Yeah, we're growing over here and I'm loving it. I'm loving the growth. I'm loving the community we are building. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will catch you all in the next vlog. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Like the video. 